Well, all right, guys. We're back with another video. This is Sunday. We're about to leave the house. Uh, it's about two. Uh, it's two nineteen right now. It's planning on leaving around about two o'clock, but I uh, had to get some stuff taken care of real fast. Kind of took a little longer than I wanted it to. So yeah, we're about to leave the house here and start making our week. Kind of bittersweet that I got to leave on a Sunday, but I got to do what I got to do. It is what it is. I just want to show y'all real fast uh, what, you know, the inside of the truck. A little bit more better detail this this evening. As you can tell, it's been raining cats and dogs all day long. But anyways, we got Bella's water and her food down there. Got my clothes right there. Got a few little goodies right here. My coffee stuff and paper towels. My big old bucket of pork rinds some paperwork and I got some uh, extra little Walmart bags up there for trash got my shop vac and cleaning stuff up here got my coffee pot right there and of course my refrigerator and microwave combo and then up in this closet here I uh, got my clothes got waters Dr. Peppers uh, Dr. Pepper Zeros and then of course swinging around up front I got your uh, I got the GoPro set up right here to for that for that backward shot I got my radio hung, but I ain't got it plugged up. I got to get the right power wires for it. And then I got my other GoPro on the dash up there, so ordered me some more GoPro stuff last night. Nobody ain't got to hold the camera anymore. Can just ride, just push it on and stuff like that. Like I said, it's been raining cats and dogs pretty much all day long. It's supposed to rain all week here, which sucks. But we got to get on the road and get on up to Cotton Valley. I got uh, a little bit more than half a tank of fuel. Uh, yeah, I got a little bit more than half a tank of fuel, so that'll get me up to Cotton Valley and up to Prescott. Don't know how far we're gonna ride tonight. It just depends on how tired we get, and hopefully I can get loaded in uh, Cotton Valley and get out of there pretty quick. So we're gonna get on the road, and we'll see how this trip goes. I pray to God it does good, and I don't, I don't see why I wouldn't. Y'all enjoy the ride with me.
All right, everybody, we're here at Hodge, Louisiana. I had to stop and let Bella to use the bathroom. She was needing to go, and it's still raining, and I didn't really want to get her out because I don't want to get the truck dirty. But there's nothing I can do about that. It's raining, and she's a little antsy. She's kind of still in that, you know, uh, she's not used to this truck, so she's got to get used to it just like I do. But... Our plan today is to get up there to KMET and get loaded. And my unload appointment is not until Tuesday morning at seven o'clock in Louisville, Kentucky. So my plan is, I'm not in no very, no very big hurry. So I ain't for 10 and a half hours from Cotton Valley to Louisville, Kentucky. So I do not plan on running real hard up there. So after I get loaded, the plan is just to get around Prescott or get on the interstate, and it's gonna be a lot of dark time driving, so just stop somewhere and just do the trip tomorrow. Not in a hurry. Uh, my appointment this evening ain't till 10 o'clock, so hopefully when I get there about five o'clock, they'll go ahead and get me loaded and get me up out of there because, like I said, my appointment ain't till 10 o'clock and I don't want, uh, I don't want to get over there and they tell me I got to sit there and wait and wait and wait. All right, anyway, sorry about that. I had to get back in the truck. It's raining too much out there. Anyways, I don't know why I left y'all out on that part. But, it, but yeah, uh, my appointment ain't until 10 o'clock. So I'm going to get there about 5. It is now, right now, 3.52. So, yeah, I'll get there about 5.15 or so. All right, so I got to stop off here in the love to get fuel. Here in Mendon, Louisiana, it's always best to stop and get fuel before you go get loaded. The top of your chainsaw, that way, that way they don't overload you with product. That way you know you're good on uh, your overall weight. And uh, if you, you know, when you got to go in a scale house, you know you're good, even if you ain't got full tanks. But it's always best to go ahead and just fill your tanks up. That way you know you'll be legal and it won't overload you at the loading line.
go in here and see if I can get loaded. Hopefully we can and can get on out of here pretty quick. See y'all in a minute. Alrighty. Well, it ain't too busy tonight, but they on shift change right now, so I gotta wait. Oh, before I can get pulled in and get loaded. My old truck did pretty good coming up here. She runs good. She uh, steers good. I mean, she's a good riding truck. I do notice that I got smoke coming out from up under the grill right there at the, at the front of the grill. And uh, I pulled over and opened the hood. Yeah, I pulled over and opened the hood and uh, it's just steam, like like the radiator's hot and uh, the water's hitting it, you know, going through the grill and hitting it. And it's just making it steam up and it's just coming back out to the front of the hood when you stop. But other than that, everything's going good. It's, it's running good. Uh, I'm enjoying this. It sucked to leave out on a Sunday, man. It really did. But I'm enjoying this. It's going to be real nice. Bella, where you at, Bella? There she is. She ain't got used to the sound yet. She ain't went to sleep yet. <laughs> she ain't did none of that stuff yet. She's been back there riding right there in the middle, looking at me the whole time. She has not gotten used to this. She will. She'll get used to it, though. She'll get really used to it. That little light over there, that's a microwave. Light down there, that's the inverter. Shining, the light shining off the inverter. These, uh, these lights up here, you can flip them forward and they'll go white or you can flip them back and they'll change amber. Every light in this truck is like that. That's freaking cool, man. But it is getting dark outside. And uh, like I said, I don't know exactly how far we're going to make it today. I don't know if I'm going to go get on the other side of Memphis. I don't know. I do wish I had my radio right there hooked up. So, I might get to Memphis tonight. I don't know if there's a CB shop around Memphis or not. If anybody knows of a good CB shop in between Memphis and Louisville, Kentucky, you know, going up through Nashville and all that stuff, I'll put that down there in the comment below. That way I can try to stop by there and see if we can't get this radio hooked up. Uh, I gotta get coax and everything ran too. So y'all put that down there in a the comment, try to help me out a little bit. I'm not familiar. Only people I've ever used was a Calhoun CB shop in Calhoun, Louisiana. And I used Borderlands down there out of Port Berry, Louisiana, but Borderlands closed down. But uh I need to get that hooked up. I don't like riding around in a truck without a radio. It's something I just ain't never done. Even though I probably don't talk on it a lot, I still have it on.
excited y'all well it's late it's 11:38 right now i've been rolling pretty hard since we left cotton valley we ain't stopped i'm sorry yeah we stopped i stopped and got a uh uh scale ticket from the loves in uh in prescott so i'll show y'all that here in a little bit we're about 30 minutes from Memphis right now, and uh, I'd stop and let Bella out to use the bathroom. And uh, we're about to get back on the road though. And my plan is to get on through Memphis tonight and get on the other side of Memphis, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna start finding somewhere to shut down at. It's, it's just been a lot of hard running this evening. Truck's running good. Man, I am I'm not having no problem with the truck at all. Knock on wood. Um, it's been a good ride. Like I said, I just had to stop and let Bella out. Figured I'd give an update real fast.